Are Harry and Meghan set to lose even more celebrity pals? Hi, good morning, Neil, Sean here. Thank you as ever for your company and welcome to all those brand new subscribers. Thank you so much for enjoying the show and as we always say here, moving on with your latest royal story. Now, one of the bigger problems for Harry and Meghan, as we've often said here on the show, is that they do seem to travel through friends. We recently saw the ex-royal couple not receiving an invite to the magnificent Obama birthday bash. Now, whichever side you fall on, you have to wonder why Harry and Meghan, who had a good relationship with, well, Harry in particular, had a great relationship with the former president, wouldn't be invited to such a spectacular event. But now Harry and Meghan have a bigger problem on their hands. And naturally, it's all centered around Her Gracious Majesty, the Queen. Now, as we know, next year, Her Majesty the Queen has a platinum celebration. And as we told you on the show a few months ago, apparently Harry and Meghan were keen to return, but only if they could be sure of a place standing on top of the royal balcony at Buckingham Palace. Apparently, according to a very good source, Prince Charles can't seem to find that space. So, they have now another issue. As we know, Harry and Meghan like to, well, attach themselves to celebrities or, if not celebrities, sometimes James Corden, the chat show host who hosts the CBS Late Show. Now, just to give you an idea of how successful that show is, ratings-wise, it doesn't do particularly well. What it does do well is on digital with his karaoke carpool or whatever. That's the fake car where he looks like he's driving through uh, the centre of town, but it's on the back of a freeloader. You get the picture. But now, because lots of celebrities still want to attach themselves to Her Majesty the Queen, as you can imagine, the Harry and Meghan are going to find that it's going to be rather difficult for them to attach themselves with their Netflix, Spotify, all of those projects. And let me explain why. Her Majesty the Queen is planning a spectacular concert in June next year. Now, if you are the likes of, say, Andrea Bocelli uh, and, say, Sir Elton John, mm -hmm, you may want to hope that you might get a place in this historical concert. And it's not really just about being assigned an historical place. It's all about sales. You may have a tour to sell, an album, product, merchandise, whatever. But when you appear at one of those spectacular royal concerts, as we saw famously with Grace Jones, where she stormed the party outside Buckingham Palace, it's memorable, it's iconic, and more importantly, you're performing in front of Her Majesty the Queen and senior members of the British royal monarchy. So for Harry and Meghan, if you decide to go into that camp, perhaps your invite to appear in front of Her Majesty might be, well, a little later arriving than you possibly hoped. For now, it all remains to be seen who, which side or whatever those celebrities decide to attach themselves to. But if I was a major celebrity in the ilk, say, of Taylor Swift, or perhaps somebody as big as, I don't know, Dame Shirley Bassey, I would certainly be looking towards June for a booking in front of Her Majesty. Neil Sean in the heart of England.